Hello, Yorana, and welcome to FM Tahiti. I'm Pelham, and in this episode, we're just moving on to the next two uh, Premiership matches. So, as you can see up here, we beat Motu 1 2 1, and we beat Taha 4 0. Getting a little bit of revenge on the Vanillas. And we did so using pretty much our youth players, which was nice and impressive because most of our um, senior squad, well, about 10 of them, were away at international duty in the Atoll um, Championship. And about three were suspended because apparently players on my team just like to break ankles and get suspended. So they're back, but I think I'm going to keep the faith with a couple of uh, players. Um, let's go straight into this match. After this match, I'll probably show you what the Atoll Championship worked out as as well, so you can see who won that. Smith is the youth keeper. He looks okay. He's only conceded one goal in two. Bennett's been moaning, so I might just leave Bennett off, actually. It's actually really tricky because of how well the team played without any of these other players. Some of it's well, we can, Henderson can come off because he's injured and his legs are all broken anyway. Lee can come off as well. But narrowing on there. Chan on for Palin. Kind of tempted just to leave it as it as it is. Well, the chance actually quite tired still from the uh, internationals. Let's just bring out Anderweg instead of Chant there. Okay, let's try it with this. We're going to keep faith with Jared and Wallace because they have three goals apiece in two games. They've been doing pretty well. Weaver, I'm also keeping the faith with, even though he's not really fit for this position because actually he didn't do too badly even though I was kind of ragging on him towards the end of last season this time around he's, he's doing okay let's kick off so we're against uh, Murtani San Pedro this is in the Inter-Island Cup um, the board wanted to get to the quarterfinals of this that would be great. We did it last season. We got to the quarterfinals. It's just really, really dependent on who we get. There's not like a huge amount of variation in like the team ability yet. Go on, Manuel. Back to Smith. Yeah, there's not a huge amount of variation. So championship side could quite easily beat us. Still, we're not that far removed from them. We've not made much in the way of recruitment sort of choices since then. We've not brought many players actually in other than our youth players and Jared. He's doing well. He was a good buy. Murtani is still, as far as I remember, in the championship. And they're one of the islands from Marquesas with the uh, feral sheep and goat problems. One of many. If you watch the um, Marquesas Islands uh, video, the island video, so the separate playlist with just no FM gameplay, just me babbling on about some of the islands. Um, Murtani, one of the islands that come up as having a bit of an issue in Marquesas. We're knocking around okay. We don't look particularly threatening, but at least they're not doing anything. Again, I say that, but we're only five minutes in, so it could just be a false, false dawn. Well, Peter out, got round him there. Smith managed to stop that, but Peter looked dangerous. Tackle's fine. Let Salaberry do that all day. Ooh. So we go behind. Might be a bit harder than planned to get to the quarterfinals. To be honest, I don't think the quarterfinals are going to be my aim for the season. So the board think we should be getting top half. Fifth or sixth. And the prediction's about fifth or sixth. Um, the players also think top half. I'd be happy with, you know, surviving relegation mid-table. That would be fine for the season as we kind of get used to this level. And so put, well, not so much the level because it's all reasonably similar, but just making sure we've got some stability. We 
be I'd be fine with that. Everything else on top of that would be a bonus. In terms of the cups, the board would want me to win the mutiny and they want us to get to the quarterfinals of this one. If we don't manage that, I won't be too bothered. So long as we can try and make a push for the OCL places. That would be amazing. So I've mentioned a few of the other videos, but I'll go over it again because it matters now that we're in the Premiership. It's something that can actually impact on us. But the OCL places go to whoever's in the first and Wallace almost. Can't tell whether he's shooting or trying to get it across to Jared. Yes, yeah, so the two places go to whoever's in first and second um, at the point at which the cup is drawn. The cup's drawn in January. Uh, ish around about that time so if we could make sure in the top two sort of end of december through january then we'll get into the ocl even if we then just lose every other game in the the league and drop off entirely we'll be in the ocl and if we get into the ocl then that's potentially more money oh just knocked him down he was definitely too forceful against him definitely off the ball as well Rockets it in, semi Gerard, half Gerard. His fourth goal, admittedly a penalty, but they all they all add up. And they definitely all add up in terms of the goal bonuses again as well, which is a bit pricey, but it all contributes. So last year in the OCL, the Eels and Moria, the Yellow Lizards who then went on and won the league title anyway, got into it. And Moria got all the way to the final, and because it's... Oh, Gerard again. Gerard's not even the target man, but he was, he's there. Wallace doing a lot of the work to card open. So Moria got all the way to the finals of the OCL, and they won their first leg 2-0 against, I want to say, Auckland. Uh, might not be, might be in Wellington, uh, but one of the 13s from New Zealand. They won 2 0 in the first leg. If it had just been a one legged final, they would have won that and they'd have been off to the Club World Championship. But then they had to play the second leg and they lost 3 0. So in the end, they got nothing for that other than the extra money and cash and rep boost you get from getting to that point. But they were very close to being the first side not only to win it but get into the Club World Championship. And our aim is obviously on a club level to see if we can win the Club World Championship, or at least get there in the short term so we can get some money. And in turn, we can use that money to then... Jared almost go for his hat-trick. If we can then get that money from the World Club Championship, then we've got a chance of maybe you know, investing it back in youth, bring up the standard generally. I mentioned before that I'm quite happy to let some of my youth players go away on loan or just sell them entirely if they're not going to make it on my team so they can make it somewhere else just to keep them in there so we've got a bigger player pool that's developing. I might try and favour transfer-wise um, teams from the Austral Islands so that they strengthen by having our players. Wallace is a bit tired. Let him carry on for the moment, but he's going to have to come off, I think, for Chisholm. And Wallace hasn't got a goal. Jared's got a couple. But Wallace has still been playing well. At least he's one of our own homegrown youth players as well. He's an Austral Island boy. And if we can get that money and pump it into the youth academy, there'll be more Wallaces in the future. Well, let's be honest, just having some money would be good, as we're as a team in debt and it doesn't look like he's getting any better anytime soon. I'm not sure what the prize money's like in the OCL itself. It's not huge. We're not talking, you know, like Champions League money in Europe. Nothing like that at all. It's a good move. Oh Wallace. He just kinda of walked onto that one with his head. Just smacked it with a massive forehead into it. That was a good move all round, just to release Richards. Daniel Naren, one Naren to survive the cull. That's there. Jordan Naren's been sent away, if you remember. 
I sent away, I just mean sold him. And then by sold him, I just mean I let him go for zero money to a different club. He was okay, Jordan Naren, last year, but Darren Naren was Beth, definitely the better of the two. He's tired as well, but he has been on international duty, so it might be two subs coming up in about five minutes. Naren and Wallace coming off, I think. Bolt, the youth um, defender, is doing okay. He's got quite good stats. He's getting better. as quite good attributes. Smacking myself in the head every time I say that. It just happens. Chisholm on for Wallace. And Higgins. Uh, Spearling on for Naren. Higgins, I want to play more in that ball winning uh, midfielder role. So it might be Higgins and Weaver who are fighting out for that place. And I might let Naren, Spearling and Lee fight it out for the box-to-box -box role. Because then that will fit with our backup tactic. So I've got the kind of diamond tactic as a backup with an attacking midfielder and a defensive midfielder, which fits kind of Spearling, Lee and Naren. So we're all attacking midfielders naturally anyway, quite well. We've not had course to use it yet. They're trying the long ball now. Gerard stretched for it and he got his hat trick. I think Gerard's going to get some attention pretty soon. I mean, it is literally three games into the season, but. He's doing the job. So he scored some in the under-23 silver. So against under-23 teams, he got about 11 goals, which was decent. I couldn't fully see his attributes as well when we signed him, but I just thought if he's got a good record and he's from a team that's got a good academy, it'd be worth it. Or at least because the players we managed to shift as well, he wouldn't be a complete drain. So I should probably make an on final sub. So I hate doing it when yeah things on, but Higgins on for Weaver. And Jared sets up Chisholm. I wonder if Jared could ever be persuaded to take on Austral nationality. That would be good. I have a feeling the answer is no, and the reason why I think this is. Players from Tahiti in this have Tahitian as their first nationality and French as their second because it's the um, overseas territory. And because they've already got two nationalities already in there, I don't think the game will let them take on a third. So I don't think we'll ever be able to get Gerard, even if he qualifies because of residency, to agree. I don't actually know what the residency rules are. Take on nationality. The Salabri and Bolt sort of centre back pairing's been okay. Two goals conceded in three games. Same with Ahmed, the keeper. It's bad news for Hamish, the keeper, really. I'd probably just bring Hamish back because he's a safe pair of hands. But because he's been complaining and Ahmed's doing all right, well done, let's. Well done. Everyone loves that. They all love being praised. They hate anything else. Hat trick and a assist for half Gerard. It's a nice, competent win, isn't it? 5 1. Get our 500 pounds for getting through. So I'll pause there and I'm going to come back for. Where are we? The Tetaroa match because they are increasingly becoming our rivals. We want to see how we can do against the you know, fellow promoted side. Um, I may skip the Mutiny Trophy matches and then come back for the next Inter-Island Cup because we're going to be against Jupiters or Huahin. But I'll pause for the moment and we'll come back for the Reefers. So we're back and just about to play the Reefers. Uh, a couple of things to show you before we do, though. This is 
what's going on with the transfer window so far. So there's only four days left of the Premiership transfer window. As you can see, a lot of deals have been done, 122 deals. So it's, it's active for uh, how many teams we've got? 15 teams in this league. That's a lot of deals. Um, we're, you know, on average, it's a lot of deals. I don't know if it, I wonder if that's double counting them in terms of if I sold to another club in the league, would that count as two deals because they brought someone in and I got rid of someone? I don't know how it exactly counts, but still, a lot of deals. Major transfers include John O'Chadwick, who I wanted. He's gone to reigning champions, Moria. He looks good. Um, Tua, Tua Lucas. Also gone to Moria. Doesn't look as good, but has potential. Mets. Could be all right. And Moana Peter, who looks good for a keeper at this level. See, for us, we've done one deal in and two deals out. Um, but getting semi Gerards are kind of a big deal. But you can see at this point, there's no foreign imports. Um, so no one from outside the leagues or outside Tahiti yet. No one's spending any money yet, but that'll change eventually. Uh, another thing to look at as well is... So I don't know why I always go... Through, I just click through using a player to get to the nationality. Let's look at the senior schedule for the Austral Islands, just to get to the Atoll Cup. So... The current reigning champions of the Atoll Championship are actually the Marquesa Islands. So Tahiti just fell short this time, so Marquesa are the current holders of that. Straw third place this time around. That's good because it means Tahiti aren't just taking everything away and dominating. Admittedly, Marquesa are the second biggest nation in terms of the number of teams and player pool they've got to, to uh, draw on at the moment. But it's still good. That it means it's being shared out. What the teams also have to look forward to, coming up soon, is the Ocean Nations Cup as well. So the first round is against some of the lower ranked teams in Oceania, so Bass Islands for us are included in that, that. And then once the first round's done and we know who's going through, then the groups will be drawn for the so some of the other teams will come through. It's currently be hosted by the Marquesas. This should be interesting, something we want to keep an eye on, because the winners of this get into the qualifiers for the World Cup, and as do some of the higher placed teams, I think top four go through to like a semi-final for the World Cup place. And then if they win that, then they get to go to the World Cup playoff against the team from South America or Asia or maybe Africa. And then if they win that, then they get into the uh, World Cup. Is um, It's not going to be an easy ride for whoever does that. It's one we're interested in being involved in. I'd quite like to give it a go. Don't know whether we'd actually be able to make it or not it's within this save before the next version of FM comes out because it's a long, long road. But we will try. Salaberry's a bit tired. This is Bolt. This might be where the rest of the the, uh, the old guard gets to come back in. And McIntyre on for Cloy as well. They keep everything else the same. So Weaver's still playing. Wallace and Jared still playing because they both scored. Well, Jared got that hat trick and Wallace scored. Chisholm on the bench still. He's not going to like that. But I'm not a massive fan of Chisholm anyway, even though he scored plenty last season. He's always very mouthy. They signed Nathu. He was a striker I was trying to get as well. As was, I was looking at Manucci. This should be interesting. So I don't think we've got competitive rivalry against them. But I'm considering them our rivals for a couple of reasons. My brother used to play as them in previous versions, so I disliked them for that. Uh, but also, they beat us to the title on goal difference. Goal difference largely because they beat us 4-0 just before the end of the season. So I think it's a legitimate reason to have some animos uh, animosity towards them. Ooh, Manuel trying then. Pulls the trigger, but it goes a bit high. They're doing quite well yeah, in the league as well. It's the league table. So they're currently, based on this match, and as it stands, they're currently second, we're currently uh, first. 
I don't think we'll maintain this. But I think, like I said in the very first video for this, if we can maintain the sprint, we can get to the OCL, and that's all I want, really, at this stage. Gerard, not quite fast enough to pick up the scraps. Once I'm a few more games in, I'm going to go back and look at the stats on the different views. Go on, Gerard, get it in. Wallace. Oh, these two. They're just so good together. See, they're like the SAS, Shearer and Sutton. I don't know what we'd call them. The WAG? Wallace and Jared, WAG? The WAGs. I mean, I know WAG is meant to be someone who's, you know, cheeky. But it also stands for wives and girlfriends. I don't know if it strikes fear in the same way SAS did. I have to have a think about a good, good acronym for their pairing. I do quite like the fact they set each other up as well, so it's not just like one of them is the provider all the time. Wallace. Could have done better with that. He is but young though. How old is Wallace again? Is he 16? Okay, 16. Smacks it against them, and again, when in doubt, hurt them. If you can't get it over the wall, then at least make the wall hurt. Oh, through the crowd from Richards there. Getting another corner. Wallace got there. He's short though, is Wallace. He's, I think he's a titch in comparison to some of the other players. Definitely is compared to, I think, Henderson, who was our first choice target man, who's still, still coming back from injury. Aaron. It's working. It's a move. We've got 10 shots there, too, already. I'm confident if we carry on playing like this, we should get the goal we need. Jared going through from the long ball. Wallace. That's a bit too far out for the head. He should have maybe taken it down. Maybe it was just too high for him anyway. Also, he is still 16. I don't think his decision making is going to be the highest as it stands. Russia. No, that's not the one we were looking at. There is a, a Russia in the um, Titian national side. I think it's like a right back who looks amazing. But he's not interested in coming to us. Considering how well McIntyre and McCloy have been playing. Do I think I'd necessarily want to bump one of them for a Tahitian player? Not when we've got our own good homegrown Austral Island guys to do it, but he did look really good. Maybe it's one of those ones where in the short term it's, with, it's worth kind of sacrificing a few of our own homegrown players just to get the money in, the success in, so we can start getting more of them. Richards, he's... Richards really wants a goal, doesn't he? There were definitely some better choices he could have made at various points in this game. He's not made them. But I still still love him. Ahmed making it look like he's doing something. Maria wanted Hamish, our um, first, choice, first choice keeper from last year. Kind of wish I'd let him go now. Oh, Richards, finally. I don't know how many shots that's taken him, but finally he gets one in. Maybe he'll calm down now. Maybe that's what he was doing when he was smacking it against the wall before as well, just making it so they won't jump and block it anymore. He hurt them enough. Dissuade them. I like it as a tactic. Just hurt them. Right, not much else for us to do, really. I don't think we need to take anyone off just yet. We can carry on with this. Underwegs, I mean, his condition's better than a lot of people around, but his sharpness isn't great. Come on, Jared. Oh, what a finish! Yeah, you do all the car wheels you want. You've you've earned them. He's an assassin, isn't he? I didn't think he was going to get anything from this. OK, 
Okay, the goalkeeping was a bit pants. The goalkeeper should have been able to stretch his arms out a little bit more to stop that. It was within his reach. And a penalty. Obstructing Wallace. It's causing issues. Jared's going to oh, early bath. This is it. This is revenge, isn't it? This is what it feels like, Tetaroa. Yeah, there we go. Eighth goal of the season. Four games in. Yeah, this is what it's like, Reefers. They're on the end of a 4 0 drubbing. Admittedly, there's no kind of prize on offer at the moment. So there's no kind of in the short term consequence. It's not like this is a title decider like it was last time, more or less. But, you know, it puts them in the place. It lets them know we, you know we don't forget. We don't forgive these things. Just because they're there from an island that's owned by Marlon Brando, his family doesn't mean they get to walk all over us. I wish I knew more kind of Godfather quotes so I could throw them in. Let's make some subs. Chiss them on for Wallace, because Wallace is getting tired, spearling on for Naren. Who else? The lamb looks tired. That's this Richards actually. Let's bring Douglas on for Richards. I just realised we don't have weight on the bench. Right, so we'll have to bring weight onto the um, subs bench. Just so us and Maria fighting it out so far for the top places. I say fighting it out, it's like. Three out of three, both of us. Runners up from last year, Huahina, are also up there. Some of these teams, like I mentioned in one of the other episodes, are sharing stadiums. I wonder if that means, well, we'll get to see some different stadiums, which would be nice. But I wonder if that means their support will be different, whether they're making less money, whether they won't have as much of a home advantage when we play them because it's a strange stadium for them. So I think there's much written about things like how home advantage works in Football Manager. So I'm just going to assume, yes, it's going to have an effect and treat it that way, even if it's just going to be a placebo for me. Spearling, yes. Jared to Chisholm. Oh, Chisholm almost had one then. Oh, they were lining up. Just needed one more goal, really, to kind of rub it in. You beat us 4-0. Beat you 5. Almost. That was a reasonable attempt by Douglas then. He, he shaped it well enough. Tetero actually um, have got a new managers. So they don't have their cup winning, title winning manager of last season, Hernandez. Hernandez left. And again, I'm wondering if, like a lot of the players they saw for free in the Tahitian sort of squad, I wonder if it's just a case of because they've been successful, their rep kind of outgrew the club a little bit, so they couldn't offer them enough money to keep them. So they've gone elsewhere. I'm wondering if it's something like that. So maybe Hernandez, because he's really successful, just moved done. So there we go, 4-0. That is amazing. It gets rid of the kind of the bad feelings from last season a little bit. We might not have the title, but we're above them in the table now. Doesn't matter this season, does it? So we'll end there, and I'll play the next two Mutiny Trophy matches, and then we'll come back uh, after that. Thanks for watching. If you're liking the videos, please like them. Uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed so you can see when the next ones come out. I don't know what kind of upload schedule I'm going to stick to. A lot of these videos I'm recording in advance because I've got time currently. Um, might just go down to two or three videos a week eventually. But um, Or I might already be at the two and three videos point of, uh, when this one comes up. I don't know. I can't remember when this one's meant to be going up. But if you like them, please like them. Subscribe so you can make sure you've got um, the latest videos. Thanks very much. Mm -hmm.